All right. Can I just say before we even start that this is just such cool data. First of all, um, this station was really close to the earthquake, and it's sitting at the bottom of the ocean. And you can tell that because the y-axis here is water column height. So this thing is a pressure sensor sitting in you know five and a half kilometers of water, which is pretty amazing that we can even build something that'll work at five and a half kilometers down. Don't you think? Anyway, so in in part one, you were looking at tide gauges, and those are really cool, but they're just at the surface, so all they can do is record the height of the water. Whereas this thing, since it's a pressure sensor on the ocean floor, it can record the seismic waves themselves and the tsunami, which is really neat. So here, the x-axis here is the Julian Day of 2011, and it's in these fractional parts. So that's helpful since we already know how to do that and work with those numbers. Um, and let's look at the data itself, this wiggly line. All right, so right here is the first big excursion from like nothing happening. And that is actually the seismic waves from the earthquake, not the tsunami itself, which is awesome. So the tsunami itself actually comes in right here. And I would mark it down as 70.26 as the arrival time. Um, what's really neat is that re when you look at stations that are farther and farther away in the rest of this problem set, you're going to see that the time between the earthquake arrival and the tsunami gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's because the seismic waves are just faster. Tsunami is pretty fast, but not as fast as seismic waves. Um, so I don't know. I feel like if I were like a high school physics teacher and I wanted students to do those boring problems like, you know, two trains leave a station and one's traveling at this speed and the other one's traveling at some other speed and how far apart will they be at time X, Y, and Z? Well, this is that exact problem. It's just cool because it's real data. It's a real thing that happens in the earth, you know? Um, so check it out. You'll see it when you look at this data. It's just so neat. It's awesome.